Hey everyone, Riley here from LeaderPro, the number one software marketplace connecting buyers with sellers of software solutions instantly. In today's tutorial, we will cover how to use text magic for your campaign outreach. So when you have a list of cell phone numbers, one of the ways you can do outreach is through SMS and SMS reply, of course. And text magic is one of the tools that we use. Obviously, there are more out there, but this is just one that has worked very well for us. And in this tutorial, I'll go through why we use it, which I just talked about, and then how we use it and some things to look out for when using text magic. Essentially, this is just a virtual phone with a cell phone number or toll-free number that can text contacts so that anyone from the team can log in instead of having one phone. It is basically a virtual account with a virtual phone number that you can use. And in the US, I don't believe they let you input your own mobile number. So under sender settings you can see it doesn't allow your own number if you're in the US and also sometimes it will help if you're texting a phone number having that sender ID listed as a business name will really really help but unfortunately in the US that isn't supported. So you can't display your custom ID and you can't bring in your own number so you have to buy a number in the US at least in text magic. But that is the sender setting here obviously it has a chat function I'm not going to show that here though because we do have teams working on those but the chat function is kind of like a text messenger so you're allowed to text back and forth. And obviously what you can do is if you have multiple contacts on the list, you can import that list into here and you can schedule your campaign. So when you schedule a campaign in the template message section, you can insert a tag. So the tags are basically just columns on a spreadsheet. You can think of it as a column header on a spreadsheet. And when you set those up and you're trying to compose a message, you are able to insert those tags. Just be mindful that using a customization is great. Although if you use customizations, just know that in text magic, there is no fallback option. So for example, if you have a list of 10 contacts and you have the first name for only nine of those, then if you set up, for example, high first name and you upload that list onto text magic and try to use that customization here, because there's no fallback, out of the 10 messages, nine of them will show the first name. But for the one that you don't have the first name of, it will just show a blank. So for example, for the nine contacts that you have a first name, text magic will insert the first name in here. For example, hijack and then the message here. But if there is one contact that you don't have a first name for and you use the first name tag, it will look like this. So it will say hi and then it will just have a blank. So just keep that in mind. And obviously it's not just the first name tag. It can happen with all of the tags. Now, whatever customization you want to use, you want to make sure that you have a record for each contact or each person. That way, when you use the tag or customization, it will show up. And when you schedule, you can obviously preview, but the preview is only available when you have the recipient list set up and you have selected a sender setting, then it will allow you to preview the message. Another thing is how you wanna handle replies. So for example, if you rely on the recipients to text stop back to you, you know, sometimes there's an option to text stop to unsubscribe. If that's how you rely on managing your unsubscribers, you can certainly insert an unsubscribe section in the message. For example, you could say something like text stop to unsubscribe or whatever you want to say. If you're only relying on the recipients texting you back the keyword to unsubscribe, then there's nothing for you to worry about regarding the unsubscriber setting on text magic. However, if that is not how you manage people unsubscribing, for example, if you manage them by looking at who texted you back and you want to exclude them from any future outreaches, then what you can do is go to history and go to download and download as a CSV file. And when you download as a CSV, it allows you to download all the contacts that texted you back so you can set a custom timeline, you can select what to download. So send SMS refers to all the messages that you've sent and receive SMS is the one that we're gonna use, which is anyone that replied back to us. And that's important because if the way you manage people unsubscribing is looking at people who texted you back, no matter what they say, what you wanna do is go to receive SMS, pick a timetable and you can see here, stop means unsubscribe. And then hit download. And when you hit download under receive SMS, it will download all the numbers that have texted you back. And once you have that as a CSV file, what you can do is go to contacts and under contacts you can add a new list or what you can do is simply select a new contact and then hit import from spreadsheet and then you can clean up all the columns so it's just the phone numbers in one column and you can either copy and paste all those numbers and paste it in here which i think is the easier way instead of just uploading a file and you know just copy the entire column except the column header and just paste all the numbers into here all right and then click continue this is the most important part so you want to choose unsubscribers and this yellow warning is reminding you that the numbers you inputted are about to go to the unsubscriber list so you won't be able to send anything to them anymore and then once you know that you can click continue and it will just upload all those numbers to the unsubscriber list on text magic and if you wish to resubscribe to somebody, for example, if you put a contact on the unsubscribe list, but you still want to send that person text messages, 
what you can do is go to contacts and then go over to unsubscribers and you can go ahead and search the name and then you can resubscribe. And that is how you resubscribe to someone so you can keep messaging them. But text magic in this regard is honestly a really great tool. It doesn't have too many features, but then again, if your only purpose is managing SMS replies and sending out SMS campaigns, then something simple like this really works great. Another thing is when you buy phone numbers, you will also want to make sure that you do this verification. So kind of similar to setting up an email outreach platform, it will ask you to verify your domain. And this works in a similar way. Basically, when you buy a toll-free number on TextMagic, this is the verification that it requires you to do. And when you buy a mobile number on TextMagic, it is a completely different verification. And what the toll-free number verification essentially wants to know is just what messages you are sending out and give them a example of some messages that you're sending out and just your purpose for using text magic. But once you have all the answers put in and have that verified, it's just an extra layer of help to make it less likely that you'll be labeled as spam. Anyways, those are just a few things to keep in mind when using text magic for your campaign outreach. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe. Join Leader Pro today.